A tiger and mice. A tiger and mice. Once there lived a strong and big tiger in the forest. He was the leader of all the tigers, as he was the strongest amongst them. But he was also very boastful of his strength. Oh, I am the strongest animal in this jungle, and I am the smartest, and I am the biggest, and I am the best. All the animals got tired of constantly listening to how the tiger was praising himself. So, once the fox decided to teach him a lesson. So when the tiger was looking at himself in the water and kept repeating how strong he was, the fox came up to him and said, "I'm sorry, tiger. I just overheard you were saying that you were the strongest among the animals and among all the tigers. Is it true?" Of course it's true. How dare you even doubt it, you little fox? I'm sorry. I also think that you are the strongest and the best. But there are rumors in the forest that just recently a stronger animal has arrived in the jungle. You are lying to me, fox. There's no stronger animal than I in this jungle. Oh no! Why would I lie to you? So, if you are telling the truth, where is this animal? Well, it lives deep in the forest. But I've heard once how this animal roars. It was really scary, and it's very big. And how does it roar? No,、oh, I can't even explain. And we are all being very scared of this new animal. You shouldn't be scared. I can protect all of you. I am the strongest and the bravest, and I have no fear at all. I know, I know. What else do you know about this animal? I've also heard that this animal is going to become the king of this jungle and is going to defeat the strongest animal here. It wants to rule all the animals here. Well, I am the ruler here. I won't let some stranger take power from me. You should show me this animal. You should show me the place where you heard that roar from. I will fight with it, and I will defeat it quickly. Everyone should know and see how strong I am. Sure, Tiger. We all believe that you are the strongest and the best. So show me the way quickly. And the fox would lead the tiger to a big tree, and then would stop. So where's that animal? It is somewhere here. I don't see it. Hmm. You stay here, and I should go to the next tree and talk to this animal. It speaks a foreign language that only I can understand. Okay. Go and tell that animal that I'm ready to fight with it. The fox disappeared for some time, and then came back. The animal said it would only fight with you if both of you have your eyes closed. Okay, you can put big leaves over my eyes and tighten them. And so the fox did so. So where's that animal? It's coming to. Meanwhile, the fox called all the animals to gather near the place where the tiger was. While he was blindfolded, two little mice came slowly to the tiger's back and then right into the tiger's ears. And the mice started screaming with all their strength right into the tiger's ears. And because they were right in his ears, their scream seemed like a loud and horrible roar to the tiger. And so, the tiger got very scared, and he started shouting, "Oh, I, I don't know who you are, but your roar is so strong! I'd rather not fight with you." And then, the tiger heard big laughter all around. He took the leaves out of his eyes, and the tiger saw two little mice in front of him. And all the animals around were laughing at the tiger, who was scared of the little mice. Moral: Don't boast a lot, don't be arrogant, and respect others as well.